Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So Carvana, I know a lot of people that's uh, out searching, wondering what's going on with Carvana stock today. How it's killing the overall market like that, and just wondering. Even the people that's following the channel probably want to know a little more information, like what's going on, why this stock is moving the way it's moving. So as we know, guys, I've been telling you guys, it's certain stocks and certain sectors, areas of the market that has huge potential that could easily return 100, 200, maybe even 300 percent returns in a matter of a short period of time being for the fact that these stocks has been hit significantly i'm talking about stocks that were trading at 400 500 level now down to 20 30 maybe even 40 bucks a share so these stocks has insane uh capability of moving up 100 percent 200 percent just like that even with the market conditions that's currently going on it still has the potential to be able to move up significantly like that guys and carvana is one of those ones that's why i've been alerting you guys steady telling you guys in vip steady making videos letting you know carvana 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 we already made money on it two weeks ago a few thousand dollars we got out at 31 we knew that was the peak and we felt as if it would come right back down we knew the market wasn't ready to recover just yet and that wouldn't sustain itself and that's exactly what took place guys so as we see now the thing is roaring back up because i told you guys in the low 20s that was the opportunity to load up and buy as much as you can so now we end the day off at 27 dollars and 26 cents well that's what we trading at after hours up over 26 percent on today alone guys so so this is a you know a stock everybody wants to be in during these times right now 30 percent growth on your portfolio in a single day that's what we want guys and carvana we can take a look at the charts we had a major breakout at $25.14. Once we broke above $25.14, you see we steady had a strong, this is a strong chart for the day. We had, we didn't have, you know, barely any pullbacks. Basically, Carvana was just running, running, and running, and not even pulling back during lunchtime, nor was it pulling back during power hour. It held its gains, and that's exactly what we want to see. That's showing uh, signs of strength, like this thing is ready to run straight up to the 30s, guys. But as we said in my last video, I went on here and so i'm not greedy i like to take profits i made another thousand off carvana and i'm going to look to make another thousand on carvana going into tomorrow catch the morning panic the deal when the market makers take out the stop losses i'm going to jump right back in and i'm going to get right back out guys but i'm not going to do this too many times i may do it with my day trading account but i'm definitely going to be adding and keeping my carvana for a long-term outlook on it because i do believe this thing is going to make me some crazy money guys so you already know let's go ahead and take a look further at carvana and see exactly what the media say is going on so as we can see carvana average session volume over a hundred day period is about 11.6 million according to data from benzinga tuesday trading volume has already exceeded 15.8 million at press time carvana was a top trending ticker on stock tweets at press time we got you guys in the top trending ticker on the web guys across the media which is carvana so what the haters in the back you man i already know y'all missing out on this money because y'all talking cold trash you know about carvana but anyways as we carry on uh ned ham analyst chris pierce maintained carvana with a buy rating on tuesday and lowered the price target from 80 dollars which is still a low price target and then he lowered it to even lower to 31 dollars we bush but 31 is still way higher than the price we're currently trading at not way higher but you know once it dip a little bit it's going to be a little bit higher but anyways i believe carvana is worth way more than that guys we bush we bush analyst see bass ham maintain carvana with an out, out farm rating and lower the price target from 90 to 50 so we also got a price target on Carvana for 50 bucks, guys. So like I say, guys, I got a price target on Carvana. Not saying like right now, none of that, but they far as they price target, they looking at a long-term aspect, not like Carvana going to be there in the next month or the next, you know, whatever. I'm saying a long-term outlook when it, which in uh you know some months maybe in the next year or so as the market start to recover and really recover and holding itself as it recovered i can see carvana at 100 plus easily so don't let them talk you out of this big bag that i'm about to make 
So you already know, guys, but don't let them words, you know, misconstrue you in any type of way and try and go all in and put more than you can handle on this type of play because know that I'm definitely being smart, meticulous with this investment. I'm not going to put all my money or all my eggs in one basket, guys. So I always be smart and make sure you can do the same. So you already know what to do, guys. Like I say, I do believe Carvana will sell off again once it hit $31. It could possibly sell off at uh you know have a not a sell off but a little panic a morning pull morning panic in the morning but once it hit 31 32 maybe even 33 we could possibly see another sell off guys but don't let it trick you because this definitely could run it is being hit hard it definitely could run a lot higher but i'm just you know trying to time those little sell offs to get in and get out because i know the market is very tricky right now and it's not going to really hold and sustain itself whenever we do see recovery or you know uptick of a day like we see in the day so you guys already know what to do man add your boy on instagram at the behave show i love y'all be out and god bless y'all